Hello, this is a help video to help show you how to use the Forms Builder. The Forms Builder is a module that's used to collect information from the public side of a website. In other words, it's meant to be used so that you can collect information from members and non-members. Uh, it allows you to build complex forms with dependencies, and you can have start and end date for submissions. There's the ability to allow for return and re-edit so that people can make a submission and then later come back and edit that submission before they finalize that submission. That's useful for proposal submission work. There are confirmation emails so you can have a customized email that's sent as a thank you to the submitter and there's also a feature for monetization so people can be charged uh, an amount for submitting a form. Anyway, to show you how to do this, we've, we're going to just go through the building of a form and show you how it works. Here in the Forms Builder, which is available from Website App Menu, App Management, Forms Builder, let's go ahead and just add new form. We're going to build a volunteer sign-up form for a children's fun fest. We're going to set up a form so that whenever someone signs up, it will send an email to me and say a start date. Well, we're just not, we're going to leave the start date and end date open, so it'll just it'll just not have an end point. There are there's a feature for return and re-edit. We're not going to turn that on for this one, but we will turn on captcha. That'll make sure that bots can't just come along and submit garbage. We're going to store responses so that we can later export them as a CSV. We have no charge for, for submission. And we'll just say thank you for signing up. Now when you're building your questions, sometimes it may be useful to write them out ahead of time and think of all the things that you want to edit, but the builder allows you to build this form and, uh, with a variety of different questions. Our first question, we're going to add a new question. We're going to add a, and here are the different types of questions you can add. We'll go through these one at a time. We'll add a multiple choice. Say we're going to have shifts. And this will be a multiple choice, and we can allow multiple selections. Now this, if you select one, it's a drop-down box. If you select more than one, it will allow people to check off checkboxes. We're going to have three options. We'll let people go ahead and select, or we're going to say zero for unlimited selections. And they have to, we're going to also require entry. And we'll add our options. We're going to have three shifts, 12 to 2, 2 to 4, and 4 to 6. And we'll continue. And there we've got our shifts. If I need to go back and make a change, I can click Edit. Next question, we're going to try the rating question. This allows for a 1 to 5 rating. We're going to ask them, do you like working outdoors? Maybe we have some indoor options for volunteering. Or have another rating, are you willing to work concessions. Uh, 
after we've added a few questions, you can drag and drop by just by grabbing these fields and you can reorder them. Let's add another question. We'll just add a text field and what, uh, what would you like your name badge to read? Preferred nickname. We'll require entry on that. And let's say we want to know if, if we know there's going to be food involved. We could ask people if they have any food allergies. So what we'll do is we're going to create a dependent field and say, if they have an allergy, we're going to ask them what's the nature of their allergies. So we'll create a dependent checkbox. Dependent field allows us to create other fields that are dependent upon that. So we're going to see, we're going to add a multi-line text field. That means that it's not just a one-line text, but multiple lines so that they could enter an explanation. Uh, tell us about your allergies. Tell us about what you are allergic to. And we'll make that dependent upon the question, do you have food allergies? Maybe we want to explain that a little further, so we're going to add a text caption, which is not a real field, but it's a way to say um, there is food preparation on site. We would like to know if any of our volunteers have food allergies. And we'll make that dependent upon the food allergy question. So these two fields will just be dependent upon the other. And so we've, we've added several questions. Now let's go forward and the next screen will show us roughly what the form will look like. And you'll see there are this first, last, and email. Those are just required fields that are part of every form. Because generally any of these web forms, we're going to want to get that. And that allows us to have a little more control in the system to say, this is an email field. This is a name field. So first, last, email. And then there's the custom fields. So shifts. This shows you how it's going to look. And if food allergy is there, Shows the little note and asks this additional question based upon whether or not they've indicated they have allergies. This is a preview, and if you're okay with the preview, continue, and then that's it. The form is ready to use. And here is Children's Fun Fest, and it shows you this link, and this is the link that you can use to promote your event. So you could send that out in an email or post it on the website or do what you want with it. And here it just takes people directly to the form and they could enter the CAPTCHA and, and then let's just add an entry. We'll just Okay, now I've tested that, and under FunFest, we see that we have responses. So over here, we can view those responses, show that this person signed up for such a shift and rated these questions, and here's what they've answered. 
and you can export that as CSV so you could bring it into Excel and manipulate it there. There's a PDF version of that output and a few and other reports that are available that allow you to view all of what people have entered. And so there you have it. If you have any questions about how to build forms, uh, please go ahead and submit a help ticket. Thank you very much.